and welcome to another video. My name is Neda and if you haven't seen my last video, I'm basically going solo backpacking for the first time ever and I'm leaving tomorrow. <music> Time has come for me to pack my bag that I will be bringing with me for the next seven to eight months. So yeah, if you haven't seen my last video, I'm basically gonna start off in Australia and then I'm gonna move up to Southeast Asia and travel around there for a while. And I'm gonna do this carry on only. My bag is about this big. <laughs> I only have a rucksack, which is 40 liters. And then I also have another little backpack which will sort of be like a day bag and I will also be bringing a fanny pack so in these three bags I will be bringing all my stuff for the next seven to eight months and I thought I'd do a packing video since I've been watching binge watching several of these in preparation for this trip and I found them very helpful although there hasn't really been any packing videos where the person is only packing carry-on for this amount of time. So I thought maybe this would be helpful if you or someone you know uh, is gonna go backpacking for like half a year with only carry-on luggage. So this is it, a Osprey Fairview 40 liter backpack. And uh, for everything I'm packing, I'm gonna split it into different categories. So we're gonna start off with clothing then go through toiletries, electronics, and miscellaneous. So basically everything else that doesn't fit into any of the three categories. So yeah, I guess we'll just start. This is everything I'm bringing for, like I said, the next eight months. So starting off with, I guess not really clothing, but towels. I will be bringing microfiber towels. I have one purple, I guess smaller, towel that I will be using when showering. I also have one bigger towel that I will be using as like a beach towel. And then I also have a microfiber hair towel. So these are the towels I will be bringing. Then for clothing, we have one zip up hoodie, which I will be wearing on the flight. So it doesn't have to come in the bag. I have a pair of flowy, very, very thin shorts. I also have three pairs of biker shorts. I have these blue ones, I have a pair of green ones, and then a pair of black ones. I also have one pair of jean shorts. I think one pair of jean shorts is nice. I have a pair of linen pants, and I have a pair of North Face zip-off pants. So they double as pants and also as shorts, since you can zip them off at like above the knee. And these are also the pants that I will be traveling in, so I don't have to put them in my bag. Let's see, I have one dress, and this is sort of like a sleevey dress, long dress. I really like this one. I think it will be great for like visiting temples and stuff where you have to keep your shoulders and uh, elbows, no, shoulders and knees covered. So it's pretty light as well, so that's my dress. I have one gray t-shirt, one green cropped t-shirt, one long sleeve, and this is again active wear so like a semi cropped long sleeve great for layering i have a linen shirt as well this is actually a legoland shirt which i found at a thrift shop for about like 25 swedish crowns so basically nothing but it's linen so the material is really nice i kind of look like a like safari dude in this shirt but i think it's really nice so i'm bringing it i also have this a green strappy top and I have the same one in black and I'm actually gonna be wearing the black one on the plane so I don't have to pack that one either a orange strappy top which you like tie in the front a black sports bra a black kind of tank top a green sort of like halter neck top you tie it at the back and also a black bralette and I have a sarong and then for like underwear and swimwear I have eight pair of thongs two bikini tops three bikini bottoms and three pairs of socks and that is that is everything I'm bringing I also have a belt for the um, North Face pants and then I'm bringing a rain jacket which I have just like rolled into its hood so it's nice and small 
I also have a down jacket that I so kindly got from the, my colleagues at work when I quit. So it puffs up really nice and it's a great layering piece, but when I'm not using it, I can just shove it into this bag and it becomes really small and compressed and takes up pretty much not a lot of space. And it weighs nothing. I don't know if I've said that, but it weighs literally nothing. So that's great. The jackets. For shoes, I'm bringing one pair of sandals. These are Tevas. I'm also bringing a pair of flip-flops and one pair of shoes. I will be wearing these on like all my travel days, I guess, because I don't know how they will fit in my bag, but they look sort of like a sneaker. So I guess they're kind of versatile and they're pretty lightweight as well. So yeah, that is all my clothes. Oh, and by the way, I'm gonna have to pack it all into this one packing cube. So um, watch me do that. <laughs> it wouldn't be as hard to close but I mean it fits also the sarong and the socks I put into the smaller packing cube with my underwear and my swimwear and the towels I'm gonna flat pack into my backpack so it doesn't have to go in any packing cubes obviously the shoes I'm gonna wear and the jackets I'm also gonna wear or hang on the outside of my bag so it doesn't have to go into anything either so moving on to toiletries so these are all of the toiletries I'm bringing. In this little bag right here we have uh, sort of like period stuff. So we have my menstrual cup, my menstrual cup cleaner and some penny liners as well. A deodorant which is like a stick deodorant so it doesn't count towards my liquids. A, a nail clipper and some tweezers as well as a tiny little mirror. A solid perfume thingy from Lush. A tiny little face moisturizer face moisturizer, a face serum, face cleanser, a shampoo and conditioner bar, which I've put into these Matador uh, soap bags, which are great because instead of having to dry your bars before putting them away, you just put the bar into these bags while they're still wet and they will actually dry from within the bag. I don't know how because nothing like leaks out of the bag, but the bar is dry when I come to use it the next time. So magic, but I'm not complaining. I then have a spare shampoo bar as well because I have no idea how long these actually last for, so I'm just bringing a spare one. I have my Estrid razor in its little travel case, a bunch of razor heads, a lash curler, a brow gel, and a little brow tool thingy, a tiny little na nail polish, as well as some nail polish remover pads. This might sound dumb, but I have glitter and some glitter primer or like glitter glue, I guess you could call it. I'm going to a festival over New Year's and I thought, I don't know, maybe I want to do some glitter. I then have a toothpaste and a toothbrush, obviously. Some lip balms as well. These are with SPF. A tiny little travel tangle teaser. This one is with dinosaurs. I think it's really cute. A nail file. Two sheet masks. These will be great for like either on the flights or after my flights. Since I will be flying for a really long time, I think my skin will be dry as fuck. So sheet masks. I then have some hair ties, big ones, small ones, and even tinier ones, just like clear elastics. Some bug, not spray, it's like a stick, but it's supposed to repel bugs. A concentrated shower gel, an exfoliating glove, and then I also have a soap saver. And that is everything toiletry wise. I'm gonna start off by putting all of my liquids into this one liter bag. So I'm just gonna store it away here. Oh, and this, by the way, I forgot to mention this one. This is my Lush Revive uh, hair cream for my hair, obviously. And those are all of my liquids. So now I'm just gonna get the bag to actually close. Which it does, and we're good to go. The rest of my toiletries I'm gonna put into this 
and a bag that I have. Once you hear the rhythm playing, promise you won't be complaining. I'll be here for you. Oh, yeah, by the way, I don't know if these sheet masks actually count towards liquids, but I'm just gonna put them in the bag in case of. Because, I mean, there is some liquid in them, but I don't know. I'm just gonna put them in here. They fit. And close it up. There we go. Put that to the side. And the last bits and bobs. Would that be cool? Yeah. Beautiful girls are coming. The liquids are obviously eventually gonna go into my makeup bag or my toiletries bag as well, but for the time being, I'm just gonna keep them in this plastic one because I'm gonna have to get them out while I'm going through security anyway, so easier just to have them easily accessible. So, these are all my toiletries. Let's move on to electronics. So for my electronics, I thought I'd just go over the stuff pretty quickly. I have a lot of things for my GoPro, which I'm filming on right now. It's the GoPro Hero 10, along with a Ulanzi tripod. So that's what I'm having in my hand right now. But other than that, I have a floaty stick, I have a dive case, a lens cleaner tissue thingy. I also have a bite mount, some other like just screws and things. I have a battery charger some more like attachment things. I have a swivel mount, so you can either clip this onto something or it's actually magnetic as well. So if you have something magnetic, you can just stick it onto that. Another little attachment thing, six of these uh, sticky mounts, three straight ones and three curved ones. So if I wanna attach my GoPro to something that's moving, I guess you could just do that. So either like the inside of a car or a surfboard or whatever, really. So I brought three of each. I have some spare batteries, two of the regular GoPro ones, and then uh, two of the Enduro batteries as well. They are supposed to last a bit longer. I have this one and then the one in my camera right now as well. I have my GoPro charger with a little adapter thingy so it becomes a USB-C to USB-C. I have some spare memory cards and I also have dive filters. So it's like color correcting while diving. I also have the, um, I don't know what this is called, but it's floating. I have a portable JBL speaker as well as a travel adapter for the different countries that I'm going to be going to. I have a pair of normal headphones with the regular like aux thingy. And I also have a dongle for my phone. I'm thinking this will be great for the flights if they have like movies and stuff. I have two normal adapters in case one would break, I don't know. And I also have a um, Bluetooth tracker. So if I were to ever have to like leave my stuff somewhere, I can just put the tracker on my things and I would be able to know where they are at all times. I have a regular like aux cord. So if I'm driving a car or something and I want music, I can use this with my dongle. I have a charger. I have a pair of wired headphones with the USB-C port. So I can just plug it straight into my phone and another just like USB-C charger. And then I have one of these small SIM card pins and external battery and some wireless headphones as well. Look like this. And those are all of my electronics. All right, so all of my electronics have been packed away and now it's time for miscellaneous things. And as you can see here, the quality of the video and my patience really just went downhill from here since this has taken a lot longer than I thought it was going to. So I'm just gonna speed round through all this, I hope, I think. So starting off, I have a first 80 kind of bag and in it, I have a bunch of electrolyte things. I'm also gonna keep just like regular band-aids of different sizes and shapes. I have some blister plasters and some wound swabs. I also have some medication in here. I have motion sickness tablets, diarrhea tablets, and some um, things for when you have a sore throat. So these are the three medications I'm bringing with me, and it's just all gonna go into this one liter Ziploc bag. I also have a pair of gloves in case I would need them. So medications and other necessities. If I know myself correctly, I'm clumsy. 
and I'll get hurt. So, first aid kit. Great. Then we have a collapsible lunchbox and a spark utensil thingy. So this is great for, I think, mainly Australia where, where I will be cooking a lot of my own food. I can just make a big batch or something and have leftovers for the day after. It doesn't take up a lot of space and I think it will save me a lot of money. I also have a pair of sunglasses. Nothing fancy, just a regular pair of sunglasses. I then have my own snorkel and goggles and this might seem excessive. It sure as hell takes up a lot of space, space I don't really have, but I will probably be snorkeling a lot and I think it'll be nice to just have my own gear so I don't have to rent things or buy things while I'm away. So those are coming with. I then have a bullet journal and pens. So I will be journaling and drawing and I don't know. It's nice to have. I have an inflatable pillow and I also have a pillow case for my pillow. I have a eye mask, earplugs, more uh, lip balms. I have some padlocks, both like small ones with a tiny wire and a bigger one. These ones will most likely go on my bag, so uh, on like the zippers. And this one will most likely be used in the hostels. I have a pen that I will be bringing with me in my uh, bum bag. I have a tiny little sewing kit with just like some needles and some thread and a tiny scissors. Well, I'm not sure if this will be allowed on the plane, but I'm bringing it and we'll see. I have a rain cover for my backpack in case it starts raining somewhere. I have a silk liner for like the bedding. And this is again a little bulky, a little big, but I will be using this every single night so I think it's, it's worth the space it's gonna take up in my bag. It's basically just so if the hostel sheeting isn't really nice I can just put this one out and I will be like, sort of protected from the hostel sheets basically. And like the pillows and the, yeah, all of the bedding basically. I have some gum and some motion sickness wristbands. I got really, really motion sick when I was a kid. I sort of grew away from that, but I can still tend to get motion sick sometimes. So I'm thinking it's better just to bring it and hopefully I won't need it, but I will have it. I have a wallet, a card wallet as well for like extra cards and things that I don't want to be bringing with me all the time. A passport. Um, wallet I guess you could call it so it has like space for my passport I have some uh, extra passport photos as well that I have printed out some cash and yeah just a nice little passport wallet and then have some cash both for Australia and for Thailand which will be my next country that I will visit and I have some more hair ties because you can never have too many hair ties I have some face masks and my international driver's license as well as a photocopy of my passport, a dry bag, which does what it sounds like. It keeps my things dry. So if I were to go on a boat or something, I could just chuck all of my things into this dry bag, roll it up, clip it, and it keeps my stuff from getting wet. I have a foldable little bag thingy, great for if I'm gonna go grocery shopping or whatever, basically. It takes up very little space, but it folds out to be a very big and nice bag. I then have a Grail Geopress water bottle, which is basically a water purifier bottle. So with this, I can pretty much drink any water I find. It could be from a stream or from like a tap in Thailand or whatever. So I scoop it up, I press it down and it purifies it from bacteria and viruses and all that bad stuff. So I won't have to buy like bottled water everywhere. I can just purify it myself. So that's great. It was a bit expensive, but I think it'll be worth it because I'll know that I will have access to water everywhere I go. I also have this pocket laundry wash, it's called. And basically it's a laundry detergent, but in like small leaf forms, I guess. I also have a paracord that I have just like tied into like a circle thingy. The purpose with this is to basically use it as a clothing line if I have clothes that needs to be dried so I can just like untie it and I have like I think three meters of cord and just hang it up and hang my clothes onto it and yeah I think this is very handy to have I also have like a few of these just like snack bars 
And that is all of my miscellaneous. Yeah. Now it's time to pack. Let's do that. So for the actual packing of the bag, I'm going to start off in this small front compartment. And in here I have like some hair ties. And I'm also going to put my sleeping things. So my silk liner and my earplugs. I'm also going to put the face masks in here just so they're easily accessible should I need them. Now the great thing about this backpack is that it opens up like a suitcase. So once it's open, you can basically see everything you have inside. And here I'm gonna put the packing cube with all of my clothing. I'm gonna put in the bottom. But actually before I do that, I'm gonna flat pack the dry bag. I'm just gonna stuff it in the bottom here. I'm also gonna flat pack my towels. So the hair towel and the shower microfiber towel, like so, as well as the beach microfiber towel. I think this is the easiest way to pack away these towels without them taking up a bunch of space or just like being bulky, I guess. Then the clothing goes onto here. I'm just gonna press that into the bottom. And as you can see, half the bag is already full pretty much, but we don't have that much stuff. So I think it's gonna fit. I mean, I know it's gonna fit, it has to. So the toiletries bag goes onto here. Just cram it in. And besides that, we have the electronics bag. Just gonna shove that in here. And then we have my packing cube with underwear, socks, bikinis, and the sarong. It's also here. Just gonna squeeze that into here. All right. So, yeah. In this mesh compartment, I'm gonna put my uh, period stuff. It's just gonna go inside here. And then I think I'm gonna put see my goggles down here and then I'm gonna put my sandals in here as well so just like upside down so and like so then I'm gonna use the compression straps inside of the bag to sort of like secure it down so just snap it in place and compress and the same with the one at the bottom here. Just gonna snap it into place and compress. Now you might see that we have some space on the sides here and this is where I'm gonna put the rain cover as well as the cords so like the chargers and stuff I'm gonna put down here as well. I think that's it. No, maybe actually we put the lunch box here as well. So just like so, and then we close it up. So let's see if we're able to zip it up. Actually, that was pretty easy. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. Alright, so we still have some things left, and we also have another compartment here so what I'm thinking is inside of this laptop sleeve we're gonna put my cash and my international driving license so I'm just gonna stuff it down there we have my snorkel I'm just gonna shove it down as well and since it sort of bends it becomes this nice shape that fits perfectly here actually my first aid kit also just gonna shove it down here and then we have my liquids. I'm not actually sure if I'm gonna keep it in this bag. I'll see if it fits. I mean, it does. I'm gonna keep it here, actually. So let's just sip it up. 
that was a lot easier than I thought. Well, that's great. All right, so the carabiners on the side, I'm just gonna clip my cord onto. I have my padlocks. It's actually just gonna go into this front compartment as well. Just keeping them there. Oh, I also have this laundry thing. I'm just gonna shove it in here. And then we have my bum bag. So it has like a back compartment, a main compartment, and a front compartment. So in the back, I'm gonna keep my passport and my wallet. My extra wallet is, I think I'm gonna put it into my main bag. I haven't figured out where, but I'm gonna put it somewhere there. In the front, I'm gonna keep my wireless headphones. The regular headphones with the dongle. And in the front, I'm gonna put a lip balm, a pencil, motion sickness, wristbands, earplugs, and uh, an eye mask. That's gonna be in the front. I'm also gonna keep some hair ties in the main compartment. Um, I guess my GoPro charger and uh, the swivel clip. So yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna be keeping in my Benny pack. Then in my day bag, I'm just gonna shove in my bullet journal, my pens and my portable charger as well as my travel pillow my pillowcase and the foldable bag i'm gonna keep it in there as well so it's not too full it's actually pretty flat oh also my water bottle i guess i'll keep it in here so i can have access to water on the plane and yeah so spare batteries and SD cards are also going to go into my fanny pack. We have some things left. I forgot my sewing kit, so I'm just going to put this in the front compartment of my main bag as well. Since there's st still a lot of space, I actually forgot my sunglasses as well. But I think they can fit in here pretty nicely. Yes, they can. And then just all of my bars. But like I said, I'm gonna disperse them into my bags. So some in this one, some in this one, maybe someone in the fanny pack. But yeah, that's it. And once I'm done with this one, I can just close it up like so. I don't know if you're able to see this properly. So close it up and just tighten it off. So it partially looks smaller, but also like, yeah just compresses down a bit more. And that is everything I'm bringing for seven to eight months of backpacking. All right, so this is the finished product. It's not too bad, actually. The bag itself weighs 10 kilos. And uh, yeah, I'm ready. Except for the clothing I'm wearing, obviously. This is not what I'm gonna be wearing when I leave, but I'm pretty happy with this. Also, I just realized I forgot to pack my flip-flops, but they're gonna go into my bag. I mean, there's no issue really, they're gonna fit. So yeah, my fanny pack, my backpack, and my day bag. We're going backpacking. So excited. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, by the way, if you thought this video was interesting or helpful or anything just leave a thumbs up i guess well i'm gonna stop moving around all right so i'm so excited it's gonna be so good all right that's it thank you for watching and uh, until next time bye I will be using it as a shower 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 towel. Why is it so hard to say shower towel and microfiber towel? Towel. The word towel is fucking difficult. All right.